right, guys. The men's conference that will change the world. Um, man, really, really good to be here. This is actually one of the most interesting uh, uh, intros that I'm going to do because I, you know, been involved in the scene of social dynamics, sexual dynamics, and all that sort of dating lifestyle forever, and worked with some of the best people, and this next guy I haven't met, but always heard about, and heard about in amazing ways. Um, I, I was talking to some guys privately about it, but it's like the, the industry has such a doubting mentality, and this dude over and over and over again, whether it was clients or just uh, videos that you, you would see would prove to be just such an upstanding guy. Now, what's interesting about this, he's actually going to talk to us about business, adventure, uh, life, and living a true lifestyle. And so this is a true uh, kind of parallel to the message that the 21 Convention is sending. I'm really happy to have him up here. It's Timothy Mark. Come on up, man. Steal the show. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you, Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. cheers. It, it's a good little intro there. Thanks heaps. Um, so guys, yeah, I'm running a little blog right now called freedom, uh, freedombusinessblog.com and uh, also used to, and, and that's all about building a little online business, just with your laptop or whatever, uh, and creating a life of freedom, fun and adventure. And previously to that, I was working for a company called uh, Real Social Dynamics and still a little bit involved in that stuff. So hands up if you have uh, seen some of that stuff, RSD or some of my stuff or whatever it is. Yeah, cool. So a few people in the audience. Um, so, a few nights ago, I'm uh, chilling out and went and saw the new Bond film. You've seen the new little Sky film, the Skyfall. Uh, and I'm um, sitting there, I'm like, all right. It got me thinking after, see, I've been doing this or teaching like this personal men's growth movement type stuff for pretty much the last 10 years or so. So, it got me thinking, I was sitting there, I'm like, Skyfall, Bond, shh. I'm like, this is very, uh, I was like, Guys in this community, they're very much like mini James Bonds. Now, obviously, though, we're much more attractive and uh, better dressed and uh, more ripped than James Bond himself. But it really did, um, it, it struck a chord with me. I'm sitting there, I've got my little popcorn, I've got my little drink, and, you know, damn it, now he's pulling guns out, there's fire, he's, like, falling off shit, getting back up. I was like, this is very much like our, uh, our little, little community here. And um, the reason why, the reason why uh, I feel like James Bond is very much related to this little community, it's one little thing that while watching, I was halfway through, he might have got run over or something, and uh, I'm thinking there's one little thing that's missing in most dudes' lives. After 10 years of this, after taking guys out, showing them how to like say hello to girls, and after getting a bunch of guys together and showing them how to build an online business, I was like, there's one fundamental thing, one little tiny little thing that guys uh, are generally missing in, in their lives and in, in normal society. And that one little thing, and the one little thing that I kind of want to discuss and share and talk about today is uh, a quest, okay? And this is the body movement of a quest, by the way. Quest, all right? So every man on this planet, I feel, needs uh, personally, deep down, his own personal quest. And hands up if you, if you sort of feel like you know what your quest's all about. All right, stand up for a second. We'll get everyone standing up. We need a bit, need a bit more vibe in the room, need a bit more excitement, a bit more energy. Everyone's like after lunch, like, oh, I've eaten Subway and I'm all lying down. So the body movement of a quest is, and this is how it goes. The right foot goes forward first, okay? You might kick a chair or something, but that's okay. Right foot goes forward first, and then the quest, like there's a flex of the right bicep. And you've got to say quest like you mean it, like from deep down, right? So quest, all right? So we'll do it on three, okay? It's good. I know, I know we're all eager here, but we've got, we got to get the quest thing right, okay? You know, James Bond, we're all mini James, that was, that was not James Bond. All right, so on three, we're all going to do our right foot plant. You can do it too, that's all right. I know you're a girl, but it's okay. Right foot, quest, fle flex, right? So on three, one, two, three. Quest! All right, excellent. Good stuff. Give yourself a pause. Have a seat. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, quests. And there's three key important areas of a quest, three, I guess, distinct little things, toolbox, if you will, that you bring on your quest. So whether you're going out and you're picking up girls, or whether you're creating a little online business, or whatever it is that you're attempting to do and get better at, men's personal growth, all that sort of stuff, these three little tools will help you. So first little tool I want to talk about is 
boldness. Okay, boldness. Entering with boldness. Okay, it's, uh, I first discovered this little principle uh, reading Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. Hands up if you've read that. Um, that book actually messed me up for a few days purely because it's like pretty dense. I'm like, wow, do I have to be this power focused and power hungry? And this is pretty much the only law that kind of stood out for me, boldness. And uh, entering with boldness means in anything that you're doing, uh, be it business, be it you know, relationships or whatever it is, as a dude, it's your responsibility to be entering that with a certain sense of boldness. Now, do you guys know what boldness feels like? Have you felt boldness before in your own life in certain things that you've been doing? You might have been scared, but you had to step up and do it. Yes or no? Yes? Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Excellent. So, boldness is the first step. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I, uh, I did my back playing golf. I found like now that I've created a little online business, I'm playing a lot of golf. Okay, so I'm out playing golf and hurt my back. And you'll meet, actually on the golf course, you'll meet a lot of like interesting business people and stuff like that. They're all sort of plugged into the matrix though. And you know, they ask, what do you do? So what do you do with your days? I'm like, oh, well, a lot of golf going on, a lot of hanging out with friends and stuff. But anyway, so playing golf, hurt my back, had to go see an osteopath. So I went, went in the osteopath and, you know, cute little reception desk girl. So I'm walking in like, oh, geez, this is all right. Hello, what's, what's going on? And I thought she was just the receptionist. And she's like, oh, you can go through the room. Go through the room. Turns out, sure enough, hottie receptionist is actually the osteopath. So she's walked in. I'm like, oh, this is all right. And then, uh, so she's like, take your shirt off, please. No problems. All right. And uh, we're going back and forth. A little bit of banter, a little bit of, little bit of just nothing talk. Like, what do you do? Cool. And uh, then she proceeds to do some kind of weird stuff. Uh, osteopath or emerge of like chiropractors and stuff like that. So I had to sit there, like under this pillow with my shirt off. She's like, now I'm gonna come up behind you with my hands and like put my hands here. I was like, okay, some weird technique. She's gonna crack my back or what's gonna happen. Puts her hands in and uh, sitting there and, and then proceeds to like sit there. I think she was like channeling energies or something. Sits there for like what felt like 10 minutes of awkwardness. So I'm like trying to crack jokes and, and she's like, no, shh, shh, you gotta be quiet. I'm like, okay. And it's super awkward and weird. But anyway, something happened with these energies. I really like this girl. So I'm like, I'm, I've got to like ask her out or something. I've got to do something here. So talking around, whatever. And uh, then I'm like, okay, so when do you need to see me next? She's like, oh, I probably need to see you next Friday. I'm like, well, how about tomorrow? She's like, what? I'm like, well, how about tomorrow? We'll go for a drink tomorrow or something. She's like, uh, oh. I'm like, you got a boyfriend, don't you? You know, preempting, like I could see the the shift, so, oh, you're a boyfriend, don't you? She's like, uh, oh, no, but we're not really supposed to do this. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll get another osteo. Drink tomorrow. She's like, uh, okay, I guess we can do it on the sly, all right? So writes her number down, gives it to me, off we go. And we end up on uh, date times last week, actually. But that whole thing, I feel, happened because I've trained myself to kind of enter with boldness and if any opportunity arises, and of course I was like, do I ask her out? We just did the weird like energy thing. It's like, do I, do I do that or do I just see her next week or whatever? But the whole mindset shift of boldness definitely, definitely helps. And so that's a little relationship area. That's a couple of weeks ago, that one happened. But let's take like, I'm supposed to be an awesome pickup instructor man boldness thing for a second. So um, one little story that I remember when I was over in Vegas, um, I met up with like a, this, or I had to, I was coaching this like multi-millionaire guy, like it's worth millions of dollars, very, uh, what you would say, alpha, very like, you know, I'm the shit, fuck you, fuck everyone, you know, I'm the man, right? That sort of guy. So I come into this thing and there's no way I can be like, okay, let's go talk to this girl now. You know, there's, there's no way I can be like that with this guy. Um, you could just tell, you could see the vibe. It was just like, this guy knows his shit and I'd been worded up. He's a millionaire, he's not going to take your shit. So, first thing I do, no little sem pre-game seminar, nothing. All right, I'm like, straight to the club with you, let's go. He's like, oh, no one really speaks to me like that. All right, let's go. And uh, here I am, I'm thinking, in, inside, um, I've got a voice saying to me, you're going to get owned on this boot camp. This guy's going to, this guy's going to just think you suck. He's going he's gonna to see right through you. He's going to think like you're a fake and you suck. Right? Hands up if you ever felt the um, people are going to see right through me type thing. Yeah, this is like the, 
the antidote to the boldness, right? But chances are people don't even see it. So 